OK, well, let's go over it. I'll show you. So um, the first thing we want to go and do with this, so if I'm giving you a, guys a, um, an equation, the first thing I obviously want to do is break it up so you can find the vertex and then find the focus and so forth. If I give you a couple of pieces of information, the first thing I'd say was graph it, all right? Just at least plot the points because that's going to help you determine. The major thing is, guys, there's two different formulas we have, right? We have a parabola that opens up or down or a parabola that opens left or right, correct? We need to decide which formula for us to use. So if I graph this and it tells me that the vertex is at negative 2, 5, negative 1, 2, negative 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Does that tell me if my graph opens up, down, left, or right? No. But if I graph the focus, which is at negative 2, negative 8, 5, 6, 7, 8. Does now that I know that my focus is below, right? So now what does that tell me, Nathaniel, about where my graph is going to go? It's going to open downwards, right? It has to, right? Remember we talked about the focus killing the ants? You can't, have a, you can't have a parabola going like this and your focus over here. You can't have one going up here and then have your focus down there. The only way our focus is going to make sense is it for going over our focus, right? Because that's where everything focuses on. So the next and most crucial part of information, which I said you have to make sure you guys know when you leave, is that once I know what the vertex is and the direct and the focus, I can now find, now find the value of p, which is the distance between vertex and the focus. So let's count. Negative 5, negative 6, negative 7, negative 8. So 1, 2, 3. So I can say p equals 3. Now, is that a positive 3 or a negative 3? Negative. negative. So let's go ahead. Uh, first of all, I kind of got ahead of myself. So we now know the graph faces down. So that means we have to use the equation where it goes up or down, which is x minus h squared equals 4p times x times y minus k. Right? That's the equation for when we have a parabola that opens up or down. Correct? So in this equation now, um, what we need to do is uh, we already know our vertex, which is there, so that's easy. So that would be x plus 2 squared equals 4p times y plus 5. Now, do we know what p is? Yeah. Now, let's, yeah. x plus 2 squared equals 4 times negative 3 times y plus 5. So therefore, x plus 2 squared equals negative 12 times y plus 5. OK. But unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, we're not done. Um, they did ask us to find us in standard form. If you guys remember, standard form looks like this. y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. All right. Well, in this case, luckily, we're solving for y. So it works. So that means what I need to do is I need to get the y by itself. So to do that, I need to first get rid of this binomial squared. So a binomial squared, please remember my biggest pet peeve. Okay, A binomial squared is x plus 2 times x plus 2. You have to apply FOIL. So x plus 2 squared is going to be x squared plus 4x plus 4 equals negative 12y minus 60. So what I did was I expanded that out, and then I applied distributive property. Now, to finish this up, what I'll do is I'll add 60 to the other side. So I have x squared plus 4x plus 64 equals a negative 12y. Solve for y, I'll divide by negative 12. And therefore, I have y equals a negative 1 12th x squared minus one third x minus um, 16, thirds. 16 thirds, thank you. And that is your equation in standard form. Okay? 
and we're not even done yet.